cuties welcome back to my channel sorry i don't have an intro but if you follow me on snapchat uh you would know that my microphone broke down on me but nonetheless i have this makeup tutorial for you guys that's perfect for the fall and it's something bold and vampy great for the nighttime or just in general if you like going all dark and vampy um but this is a collab video with my friend leslie alvarado who is going to be doing a tutorial for you guys as well that's perfect for fall but this is more kind of like a soft fall makeup tutorial perfect for the daytime and everything so definitely go check her out you guys are gonna fall in love with her tutorials and I'll have that all linked down below in the description box but if you guys want to know how to get my makeup look then just keep on watching <laughs> So as always, the first thing we want to start out with is an eye primer. So the one I'm using today is from Benefit. It's called Air Patrol, which I have been really, really loving. And I highly recommend it to you guys because it grabs onto the eyeshadow so well. And then for the first eyeshadow I will be using is this one from Makeup Geek. It's called Creme Brulee. And basically applying this as a transition color on my crease with an E40 from Sigma. But to add more warmth to the eye, I will be also using Chickadee from Makeup Geek just to add on top of Creme Brulee. And this is really going to bring warmth to our eye. Then to add more dimension to the eye, I'll be using Coco Bear from Makeup Geek and with the Sigma E25, we're going to be concentrating this on our crease. But don't go all the way into your inner corner, just try to concentrate it more on the outer part of the eye, that way it could create like a smoky effect. Then to start building up the smokiness of the eye, I will be using Makeup Geek Bitten. This eyeshadow is so gorgeous. It's like a cranberry color, so it's perfect with the pigment that we're going to be applying right after. But basically what I'm going to be doing with this shade is applying it right on top of Cocoa Bear. Basically that's it. So this is just going to add a lot of dimension to the eye. And again, like I said, it's just going to be creating that smoky effect. So definitely just try to concentrate this more on the outer part of the eye as well. And then taking your blending brush, you want to blend everything out. That way there's no harsh lines whatsoever. So now after we are done blending everything out, I will be now taking my pigment and this one is called Ex-Boyfriend and it's from Makeup Addiction Cosmetics. I will be applying this all over my entire lid where we haven't applied any eyeshadow and try not to go past your crease. But can we just talk about how gorgeous this pigment is? It's like so similar to the MAC one. I know that it, right now it looks more blue than anything, but it has some brown and also cranberry in it that just makes it super unique. So after you're done applying that, you want to take a blending brush and just blend out the edges. That way it doesn't look super, super harsh. And then after that, you could do a wing liner or go ahead and skip it. But I'm going to be doing a wing liner because I haven't done one in a while. So I will be using my Sigma Wicked Gel Liner with my favorite brush. And this one is the Sigma EO6 brush. I have a full tutorial of how to do your wing liner. So if you guys want to check that out, I'll have that link down below in the description box for you guys. But once you're done with your wing liner, you want to go ahead and coat your lashes with a little bit of mascara to prepare them for our falsies. And the falsies I'll be using today are from Huda Beauty. These are in the style of Scarlet, which are so gorgeous and I've been obsessing over them. I just love the crisscross. You guys know that. It just drives me crazy. But moving on, now we're going to leave the eyes for right now and move on to the face. So I'm using this NYX Pore Filler Primer and I'm just, you know, applying it with my fingers. And for my foundation, I'll be using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation in the shade 118. And what I'm first going to do is just basically apply it with this foundation brush and then after that I'll go in there with a sponge just to blend everything out and pick up any of the excess of the foundation and of course the sponge I'll be using is the one from Real Techniques you guys know I've been obsessed with it and I just think it works just as great as the beauty blender so yeah just go ahead and blend everything out Then for my concealer, I'm using this one from Laura Mercier. It's the High Coverage Concealer, which I'm using the shade number 3. And I'm not going to be highlighting with this product or anything because it's really, really heavy. Like, I'm not even kidding. It feels even, like, heavy. Um, but it really does a great job of hiding those under eye circles. So that's why I really recommend it. But other than that... I mean, it's really heavy. But to brighten up my face, I'll be using this Barrel Minerals Well Rested Brightener. It's in the shade Clear. I'm just going to be applying this uh, right underneath my concealer and also highlighting any parts of my face that I want to bring forward, which is my chin and also the bridge of my nose. And then just again with the Beauty Blender, or well, not the Beauty Blender, but the, the sponge, we're going to be blending everything out. 
And then before we set anything, we're going to be bronzing up our face. So I'm going to be using Dark Cocoa from the Cocoa Contour Kit from Too Faced. And just using this with a Zoeva 128 brush. You guys know that this is my favorite brush to, you know, bronze up my whole face. Basically, I'm applying this all around my forehead and also uh, the hollows of my cheeks. Next, taking the medium cocoa uh, powder, I will be using this to contour my nose. I normally don't ever contour my nose. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you guys know I really don't ever do this. But I felt like since we're doing such a bold look that I should. So I'm basically just using a Zoeva brush first to pack on the powder. And then using this uh, Morphe brush just to blend it all out. That way there's no harsh lines whatsoever. Next, taking my Laura Mercier powder. This is in the shade Translucent. I will be doing the cookie method. Basically, the only cooking I know how to do in life. <laughs> so basically, I'm applying this right underneath my eye, right underneath my contour, or actually my bronzer. That way, it can make it look like I contoured. And then also all around my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, and also my chin. And then moving on back to the eyes, I'll be using Cocoa Bear just to apply this on my lower lash line. And this is just going to you know, help us create that smoky effect underneath our lower lash line. So kind of bring it down a little extra than usual, but not so much. Just just a little bit and then take a black eyeliner take the blackest eyeliner that you have this one is super super black so I highly recommend the Marc Jacobs high linear liners so yeah so just go ahead and align your waterline and also your tight line then with the black eyeshadow, take the blackest eyeshadow you have. The one I'm using is from Makeup Geek called Corrupt. We're going to be applying this on our lower lash line as well. And this time we're going to be concentrating, kind of blending out also the eyeliner that we applied on our waterline. And this is really going to make that smoky effect. But do you guys still see the brown coming through um, right underneath the black? It just creates like this dimension and it just looks so beautiful. So after that, we're going to take it also up on our crease. I like to do this step after I've done, you know, my lashes and also my eyeliner that way I know exactly where to apply the black eyeliner or not the eyeliner but the eyeshadow um, and then once you're done applying that you want to blend for your life like just blend it blend it blend it that way it doesn't look super super harsh and then taking ice queen I will be using this shadow to basically highlight my brow bone and also the inner corners of my eye Ugh, I hate booger eyes but after you're done applying that you want to go ahead and take a blending brush and make sure that everything is well blended out that way it looks super soft and just beautiful after you're done blending everything out, you want to finish off the eyes by applying a few coats of mascara to your bottom lashes. Then after that, we're going to move back onto our face and we're going to be taking a stippling brush and just blend everything out. That way, we could get rid of the translucent powder that we applied. After that, we're going to apply our blush. So I'm taking this one from Milani. It's called Romantic Rose. You guys know it's one of my favorite ones. So just applying this right on top of my bronzer. And then to highlight, I'll be using So Hollywood from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is like my absolute favorite one from all of them. Like it, oh God, it just looks so gorgeous. So I definitely recommend these highlighters. They're so pigmented and so easy to blend. And I'm basically applying this right on top of my cheekbones and also down the bridge of my nose and also Cupid's bow. And lastly, we are going to be applying our liquid lipstick. And this one that I'm using is from Anastasia Beverly Hills in the color Heathers, which for me, oh, this is such a gorgeous liquid lipstick. I mean, it's, it's definitely vampy and everything. Great for the fall. So if you haven't gotten your hands on this, do so because I feel like this is like the perfect dark red for fall. So after you're done applying your lipstick, we are all done with this tutorial. I really hope you guys liked it and give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That way you're updated with my future videos. And with that, my loves, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye. Mwah.